Today is a very early 1994 model. The IN is 93, but anyways, it's a 93 early 94 Ford F-150. It's a half ton two wheel drive. And this would be the same for a lot of these trucks. And the problem that we're having is, is that this door pin is really fried, okay? And I replaced these on the top and I flipped the pin around. Okay, so I flipped the pin around so that the knurled end is on top. And the way it was from the factory is it had a, a pressed in, like a crimp on top. And I'll show you that on the other side. Now, okay, as you can see, on the passenger side, it's just the opposite. Where the knurled part's on top. Alright, so when I go down here and, and look at this, you can see that crimp. And what you got to do is you got to drill that crimp out. That little swagged area there. I can get it to not need to drill that out. And then that's something you need to do. And then also this little tubing here that goes in between the door and the door jam, you need to remove that. So you remove that, pull out these wires and cut them. Okay, and that way it makes it so you don't have to uh, so you don't have to take apart the door panel and mess around with all that just kind of makes it a little easier for the person doing the work and just crimp it back together when you're done simple but anyway so I'm gonna drill that out and uh, these holes if you see that here this hole is gonna be damaged a little bit it looks like it's got some wear on the inside so when you put that new bushing in there it's not gonna fit right so you can either weld it and get it to focus for us. Hmm. I guess the focus isn't going to work today. That's all right. Anyway, so I'll take this off and we'll have a look at it in a minute. All right, so what I do is, on this in this case here, I get this hydraulic ram off of an engine hoist. And I put it up under there to support it because when you hit this pin, this whole thing kind of bounces. And that gives us some support so that you can do this by yourself without somebody having to hold something to back it up. Okay, so that's what these things look like here. That's what that pin looks like. That's what the bracket looks like. On here you can see the bushings, the top bushing is slotted pretty good. That bottom bushing, it's blowing big time, okay? So I'm probably going to have to get the welding machine and weld me a little washer on there or something to get that hole in centered and get it in the right spot. Let's have a look and see. I'm going to take that bushing out. All right, so I put that new pin in there just to kind of have a good look and see how bad a shape that's in. I don't know why the camera isn't focusing today. Sorry. But that's what it looks like. That's what that hole looks like there. You get that new bushing and stick it in there and it's not, tell you what, it's not that far off. It's got a little moon shape on that side. A little oblong crescent in there. So anyway, let me get this thing cleaned up a little better and we'll have a look. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm using this pipe clamp. I was able to use this C-clamp to press all those bushings in there. And uh, just to make sure we got things going in the right direction, which I don't think I paid much attention to that earlier, but I've got it figured out. Uh, those bushings need to be pushed in. The bottom one needs to go from the bottom, and the top one needs to go from the top. So that uh, when the this door hinge part that moves... So that when it's in there, it's resting on the bushing face here, okay? And then, of course, the other end is up against the bushing face on the bottom. So just uh, try to keep that in mind while you're putting it together. Because the top one, it's it's a little different on how it goes together. But I'm going to stick this in there and uh, get it drilled. You have to drive it home past these little knurled spots. So I'm going to put my backup device here. And you can press it. And with a big long socket or you can uh, knock it in there with a hammer all right so I got that thing on there it's it's in pretty good shape got it drove home got the little clip there's a little clip that goes on there 
and it's done. It's put together. I'm not going to show putting the door on. I had to get somebody to help me do that. But uh, that's about as far as it goes. You can get it done from here. Just don't forget to hook up your wires. I push these wires up out of the way. But I got them ready to be cramped and everything, and so it's it's easy. Don't worry about that at all. All right, take it easy. Hope this helps somebody. All right.